Yo 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 what is up guys it is a man in the candid super pig man here today with another video and before we get started into this video I want to say thank you guys for 300 subs we're on that way to 500 we're almost there just 200 more to go hopefully we can hit that goal by the end of next month or middle of next month who knows we have been on a roll recently and I want to thank you guys a lot for that but without further ado let's get into this Kenshi video so today we're going to be doing a mod showcase since it's really something you guys have been wanting and I've gotten used to my script writer doing all the like writing for the scripts for me so if this does sound like a little bit less I guess professional then my bad I mean I'm not that good at writing scripts that's why somebody does it for me but anyways without further ado here's our top 5 mod showcase so coming in at number five we got crows world gone fishing this mod is amazing let me tell you why so this mod gives you more options of starting a base because now you don't have to worry about the slow process of farming which can be detrimentally slow depending on which region you are in and now you can research this and it's a really low research i think it's it starts on uh, research bench one it's only two books so it's not that much that it costs and this solves all your problems about starting a base out in like you know the middle of nowhere because now now like this adds in three unique ways of fishing on land just just so you guys got that you fish on land you don't fish in the water because it makes logical sense uh now it doesn't look right that you can fish on land but there's more things to it. First, you need to set down an area where you will collect bait, which is actually easy in my own opinion. Now that the first step, now that that is the first step, the second is setting down an area to fish, which is pretty easy. You just have, it has to be a liquidated area to place it down. But the last part you can, but in the last part or last step, you just, you know, need a fry or dry the fishy catch and that's what creates the food. Uh, now this process is ex extremely easy. It sounds like a lot, but to be honest guys, it's like one of the easiest things you could probably do in Kenshi just for the fact that, you know, it's just easy. It's not, it's not hard. Anyways, coming in at our number four spot, we got Mob Thing, more bounties. So have you guys ever played Kenshi and realized that a lot of these bounties take, uh, take quite a good squad well with this simple mod that's been fixed this mod just adds more bounties to be honest that's it's in the name i mean i mean have you ever tried being a bounty bounty hunter and realized that hey you know these guys are all cutthroats and will probably murder my squad uh, if i ever step foot in their property so what this mod does is make easy or beginner type bounties to help you become a little rich bounty hunter this mod is useful to newcomers also in my own opinion because now you could train your squad against like this you know maybe mediocre like bounty and you could actually like you know level up your guys and all do all that good stuff and it is a good mod in my own opinion these are mostly just things that i pulled out from mods i used also coming in at our number three spot we got the 10 time output and input and storage now, I don't have any footage for this one because um, I kind of don't use storage boxes a lot, but this is a really good mod because when I did use storages a lot, it uh, really helped out a lot and it helped, um, you know, just have a lot of resources in stock just in case, you know, you ever want to sell a lot of resources to like shops and stuff like that to get rich. I mean, it's a really good mod to have, especially if uh, you find yourself building a lot of storage boxes. And to be honest, I think it is kind of one of the better mechanical mods that brings in addition to the game without like you know changing the whole entire game so much so this is a mod i really do recommend to people that don't like modding their game without further ado though let's get into our number two spot so if you guys are wondering so coming in at my number two spot is interesting recruits this is a personal favorite because it adds in some real good recruits and i mean some real real good recruits but of course um but of course in the main game or base game you can run out of cool recruits and you just need some personality to fill the gaps in our hearts when you know the game engine can't fill it so you know what we should do we should make a mod that called that is called interesting recruits well if you do that insert this mod into your game and boom that hole has been filled now this does add in expensive 
recruits that are well super good and just some mediocre ones in general and I honestly I think the ones that are really good are, uh, are worth like 60k and there some are worth like maybe 20k and now all these are because it's to be paid for you know so now coming at the number one spot we got Marshall Village man this is this is the thing for martial art martial artist playthroughs now this is for my martial artist friends out there that love martial arts in Kenshi and to you guys I say there could be no easier way around this mod when I say when I say this I really do mean it this mod adds in martial arts village hence or this mod adds in a martial arts village hence the name martial village this this village is a good starter village where you can increase your MA skill or martial arts skill. Uh, now you're asking, where is this? To that, I answered in the bone fields. Don't worry, there's a unique start to this mod. In this start, in this uh, in this start, you start in the village and you can talk to the leader, and she will automatically let you join. But you will get a negative 100 reputation with, I believe, our slave hunters and bounty or man hunters. I mean, not bounty hunters. Now there is a storyline to this mod, but I don't think it's been updated. But this is a good place for my martial art or artist peeps out there and it's also a really good place to send some of your characters to gain some martial artists and a lot of their clothes don't offer that wall of armor protection but oh my god the amount of martial art skills it gives you is ridiculous like i know the one that the person the leader is wearing gives it a shit ton of martial arts but anyways this is a top five mod showcase i think this is mostly just mechanical ads to the game so it's gonna be titled that you know but anyways if you guys did enjoy remember leave a like subscribe do all that fun stuff we're on our way to 500 subs let's hopefully get there and um anything else oh yeah if you guys have any suggestions make sure to suggest any mods that you guys have i would really appreciate that without further ado peace